This is Eagle Pass, Texas, live right now, where we're getting word that migrants are turning themselves into Border Patrol by the thousands. And it's not just in Texas. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs now sending in the National Guard to help with the surge there after issuing an executive order on Friday. The Tucson sector has been the busiest, where an average of 10,000 migrants cross every single day. We bring in correspondent Allie Bradley, who was live in Lukeville, Arizona. And Allie, what do you know about this timeline? Yeah, hey, Nicole, so that uh, 10,000 is across the southern border every single day here in Lukeville. They're saying massive people still. You can see hundreds of people waiting to be processed here in the Lukeville area. And CBP sources confirming to me that the, these numbers that we're seeing for December are blowing November's numbers out of the water. To be exact, about 37,000 more people have crossed into the U.S. in December when compared to the last month and that number is 167,000 Nicole so pretty substantial compared to November during that same time frame so the Tucson sector is leading the charge we are seeing the most people showing up to self surrender to border patrol agents there the majority as I mentioned are coming through holes that are cut through the border wall in this Lukeville area. Now, officials here with the Border Patrol say that the, the crossing has been closed for the last two weeks, and that is in response to this sudden surge that we've been watching here of migrants. And it's so bad that Governor Katie Hobbs has issued that executive order to send in the National Guard. She took to social media writing, quote, with this executive order, I am taking action where the federal government won't, but we can't stand alone. Arizona needs resources and manpower to reopen the Lukeville crossing, manage the flow of migrants, and maintain a secure order and humane border. Despite continued requests for assistance, the Biden administration has refused to deliver desperately needed resources to Arizona's border. Meanwhile, we are seeing that uh, Border Patrol agents have actually seized 10 improvised explosive devices that were recovered near a port of entry in the Tucson sector. This was on the Mexico side near Sasabe. So these are some of the photos of the devices that were obtained by News Nation from CBP sources. And we should point out that this is not the first time that Arizona has seen IEDs attempting to be smuggled across the border. Take a look here. Back in May, agents recovered this one also at a port of entry. Meanwhile, in Texas, we've been showing you these wild images out of the Eagle Pass, the surge continuing there to strain all available resources. Last week, processing centers were 400 percent above capacity. Those images there, it doesn't seem to be getting any better there, Nicole. And agents say, meanwhile, they're overwhelmed. The situation is not sustainable. Multiple sources are saying that the areas here are maxed out of capacity. El Paso is maxed out. We know that the port of entry there that sees the rail lines coming through, those trains have been halted, Nicole. So a lot of resources are being pulled in order to respond to the migrant influx. And what does that mean? When there's no agents out on the line, there's a lot of people and things that the cartel is trying to push through that porous border, Nicole. Yeah, like so many of your reports, Allie, the pictures really tell the story. All right, Allie Bradley, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.